Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone. We are doing our first arena run since coming back to uh, Hearthstone in general. It's been going okay. We've currently uh, played four matches so far and we are three wins to one loss. Our previous loss against that Paladin we went against, it felt like he just had all the answers and I had essentially nothing. Um, my start was pretty good, I felt, but then it just fell to pieces when I made a really bad misplay uh, based on thinking a card did something that it no longer does. Now, when I just as I quit, this was changed, this card. It used to be any other... While this is down, while this card is on the bit on the field, all other allied minions have charge. And now, it's only all other allied minions with free or less attack. And for some reason, even though I knew that, even though it just happened in front of me, I just decided the Brewmaster with 5 damage would still have a charge like a moron, without thinking about it, and made a terrible misplay. And it kind of threw me down the sinkhole in that game. So, let's hope for no more rusty losses similar to that. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Turns out it is, in fact, Paladin City right now. Like, what is this? I was thinking about getting rid of the Shouts and Cleric, but there was always the hope that I would get uh, a 1 or a 2 beforehand, so I kept them. And that is exactly what I got. Hello! Combos. So, pray out the uh, Hungry Crab because it's crap. <laughs> and uh, we just have a card in play. Now that we have uh, the Blood Cell Corsair, Corsair. I don't know why I said Corsair, it's a Raider. Uh, the Blood Cell Raider works very well with the Heavy War. Right? Uh, the Fiery War, I just don't know why I called it Heavy. Maybe it's Heavy now. So, we're going to go ahead and play out the War Axe and not attack with it. In the hopes that he does not have an ooze because we're crazy and YOLO and stuff. Again, sorry for saying YOLO, I just, I don't know, I just keep doing it. So he's playing out a free card thing here, so we're safe from the ooze. That's fine. Problem is that does kind of ruin our plan with this. Um, now it gains the attack of my weapon, so it will be a 5-3, but it just dies to that anyway. So I don't really want to do that anymore. I could buff that up and it becomes, what, a 2-3? And we have a free two. That's fine. Maybe he'll trade with that. And if not, it's cool. I am going to use one charge of the Fiery War Axe. Because if he does have an ooze at some point, I want to lose little from it as I possibly can. And I also have another weapon, Gorhal, in hand. Though it will come out much later in the game, it's still good to have at least made one use of your weapon that you spent mana on using. Right, so he trades off and kills everything here. Plays a secret. Doesn't trade off. Fair enough. So we're going to Blood Sail Raider here. It gets the buff. Do I want to take 4 damage or do I want to take 2? Well, if I do the weapon attack on that, and it hits a Noble Sacrifice, then I have to use the 2 free to hit that and it lose the 2 free. If I use the 2 free to attack that, and it's a Noble Sacrifice, a 2-1 comes out, hits that, that survives, and I have a 2-1 in place still. So, yeah, that works out. So, we attack that. Noble Sacrifice, please. It's the only valid secret. Come on. It has to be. Yes. Hell yes. Then we armor up. Haha! -ha. Gotta work out the combination of how it all works. Um, but in the end, we ended up with uh, 7 damage on the board and him having nothing. It can Consecrate, but it only does 2 damage, so I still have a big card in play. Wish I have that Blood Knight now. Right. Now the issue here is... Unfortunately, my 5-3 dies. It just does. There's not much you can do about it. So, I can slam it. Get rid of the shield. Do 5 damage to him. 7 damage to him. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Unless we get a good card here. Ooh, Nitro Glow. Okay, if the Knife Juggler hits the Silver Moon Guardian now, we're in the money. We are in the money. Come on! Yes! 
Yes! Yes! The chances! Fuck yes! Oh man! So yeah, <laughs> after you summon a minion, deal 1 damage to a random enemy, so it could have been him or it could have been the Silver Moon Guardian. There's a 50% chance it would hit him, there's a 50% chance it would hit the Silver Moon Guardian. So he uses inequality to pick off the 5 1. Fair enough. Though it really didn't do all that much, it was a bit lackluster. Like, very lackluster because late game I could have, like, you know, my two 8 8s out and then he could equality consecrate and kill them in the same move. Whereas what he did was lower that by none, lower that by one health, lower that by. Two health and then killed it, so. Not the biggest deal to me. Right, we can bounce something back here. Or we could go how. What do we want to bounce back? Well, it would be this fella here. We have six damage. We clean that up. That that dies. That does an extra two damage, so eight damage. I think we have kill shot here. Seven. 7 plus 8, yeah, I mean, we got kill shot. Glad I took my time and paid attention there. I was like, trying desperately to think of the best bounce back with the ancient brewmaster that I could possibly come up with um, to work out best in the situation I was in. And then I was like, wait, Gohal does 7 damage. I have six damage there, and then when the leper owned that, oh, let's just fucking kill him. I was like doing this crazy combination of events that could potentially happen with the brewmaster and what would work best, and what who the knife juggler's blade might hit, and what I could do based on who it hit, and how I react to each scenario. And then I was just like, actually, how about we just win? <laughs> well, I was talking so long that we got in another game. Hey, no paladin. His name is Cataclysm because he's very original, very original, and just said the name of the WoW expansion, but whatever. We'll keep the Blood Sail Raider in hopes that we get a weapon. Damn! But we'll amount a Berserker in hopes that we still get a weapon because we want to buff up the Raider if we can. Cultmaster, I haven't seen you this entire arena root session. Hey, top deck, Leper Gnome, don't mind if I do. Turn one plays for days. Yep, it's in the cult master this entire time that we've been playing the Hearthstone sort of arena thing. Don't mind if I do. You just keep doing nothing. I'll pre I appreciate that. You have a coin. Are you gonna animal companion this turn and get lucky and get fucking Misha? Because if you do, I will openly weep. <laughs> Come on, do something. You got a few cards in your hand. You got seven. I wonder. There's the coin. Here comes Animal Companion. Ooh. That is not Animal Companion. Ha ha. Top deck. Four days. Nice. Do four damage to him this turn and remove his card. I do lose one card, but it's fine. I drew, I drew one anyway. And we get the knife juggler. Four dam four mana next turn. Knife juggler blood blood sail cost blood sail raider. I keep calling him a cassair for some reason. Well that's crap. So he has a one four, I hit it, and then I have a five two, right? But then it's alive. With two health. What now? So I hit the hit with a Cochran Elite. Puts the Cochran Elite to a four two. That gives me two minions that are on two health, but I have a five two and a four two. What is the chances that he has an explosive trap after that? Probably high. And I have no way to deal with that, and then I would lose two cards. But if he doesn't have an explosive trap, there's nothing he can do, and I have nine damage on the board very early. Honestly, I think that's good.
Call me a noob if you want, because Explosive Trap does exactly two damage, and if he has that, I will, I will, I will also call myself a noob. But I don't know. The big plays, man. The big plays. We gotta make the big plays. We have nine damage. Turn four. That complicates things. Whenever one of your other minions dies, draw a card. One of these has to die, and it's going to be the Cochran Elite, because it has slightly less damage. I would get to draw a card. Or I could play, I don't know, a Questing Adventurer, and like a Pint-Sized Summoner. That would uh, leave me with a free free, and less mana each turn there. Honestly, the, the card draw is more important right now. He's, you know, getting ahead in cards is what's going to be more crucial here. Job's done. Again, we have two minions here with two health, though, so an explosive trap would hurt. He kills the 4 2. Yep. And that's his entire turn. Fortunately for me, I do have a knife juggler. Free. I've had one more mana, that'd be great. Okay. Here we go. Hit the rhino! Come on! Damn! Hit the rhino! Hit the rhino! Oh my god. Who you want me kid? Why you no hit rhino? Why you no hit rhino? Come on. It was a well, I don't know. Well, 50% chance on each one, but it's more likely that it happens after two attempts, right? So maybe like 70, 80% chance. He's going to draw some cards here, and that's a beast with charge, so he could kill my knife juggler and my 5-2 here. QQ. Unless he makes the mistake and uses the rhino first, and then the buzzard no longer has charge. That's, that's a potential scenario. Wow, he didn't kill the knife juggler. He killed the useless thing. Ah, it's because he can kill him anyway, the math. Uses a lot of cards there to kill mine, but fair enough. Oh god, he does have an ooze. I got a question for you. Where's my weapons? I have a few in this deck. I think I've got four. Right, um, trade with that, lose that. Abomination, that dies. And that survives. And I get some armor for my troubles. Or I could taunt. I mean, I could put that down as well. It would get free free. But then when the abomination explodes, it goes down to a free one. But then I can heal it up by placing other cards. And that's behind a taunt. Yeah, screw it. Give me a quest. Except, that's not how it works, you numbskull. Oh god, I thought I had eight mana for some reason. Oh my god, why am I so bad? Why am I so bad? What's what's happened to me, guys? I've got like some crazy like fog of noob over me. What is this? Okay, so he finally uh, makes a play and puts down the Tundra Rhino, killing the Questing Adventurer. <laughs> God, that was a terrible play, and I deserve to lose after that. All right, um, the bigger taunt go down. Nah. Gonna put the A-bomb down because it can kill that and do board clear. He could just throw some stuff into that and kill it. I'll try and hang on to that if I can. The A-bomb needs to go down at some point and it's gonna mess with me later, so I need to use it now, I think. But yeah, that was a terrible play. I should have just put down the Abomination. It would have been fine. And I would have had a 2-3 behind it. It was a way better play to just play the Abomination last turn. And I miscalculated basic math. He is very slow here. It's Cataclysm. He has certain moves he can make, and he's working them out. And I can't say anything myself, because I've had some slow turns myself. Though I do have an excuse. I am trying to explain my thought process to you guys when I do it. 
Here we go. He has a longbow. Uses the longbow to kill that. Explosion. Goes down to 10 health. Puts me to 28. It's awkward because it has exactly 5 damage. And that has 5 health. So I just essentially lose that. And it's immune, so he doesn't take damage from it. Not worth it. Very awkwardly, I have to put out a hungry crab. And uh, I could slam, but I'm going to have to hang on to that for card draw. I'm not just giving him a lot of the arena. Like, I'm not just going to have him do the like, best trade. So I have no choice here but to hang on to my slam and just put out a goddamn hungry crab. I don't know which way can this go, man. He's low enough for me to be able to just kind of take out with like a gore howl and I don't know, some other nukes and stuff, but I'm not sure if I can get him that low right now. He's in a very good position in general because of his weapon and his um, rhino, but, uh, you know, he's so low that if I got a gore howl and like a charge, it'd be over for him. At long last, he places some cards. He put down the 5-5 five, five and the 2-7. The 2-7 and the 5-5 five, five get a goddamn charge because of the Rhino. Very awkward for me. I could do 4 damage here. Which is just... Wow, it's one too little. It's one too little. I can't just give him a lot of the arena. I, I really needed something better than a shield slam there. Well, Fiery War Axe, hello. Thank you, my friend. I have been looking for you. Where the hell have you been? I'm so worried. And I'm actually going to armor up and shield slam that so that he can't keep getting charges out. Because it's very inconvenient for me when he does that, to say the least. But yeah, if I get a Gorhal here, I win the game. Because I can hit him in the face for seven for free damage putting him to a grand total of seven health Silver Moon shall not fall. You love my oh god six two that's gonna hurt i need a go hell top deck that's not go hell oh god he has a grand total of six, eight. Oh god. Yeah, yep. Can that attack heroes? Yeah, it can. It can. Oh no. Oh no. He has so much damage, right? Even if I armor up, it won't do anything. So I'm going to need the taunt. So if I attack him here, I go down to six health. Six health. And that cost me nothing at that point. So it's zero. Then I put down the taunt. Which then dies to that. And then he has 5 damage there. No, he has 7 damage. I'll have 8. I'll be able to survive 1 turn. 1 turn. I don't have a choice. That's the play that I've got to make. Well, we better hope that he doesn't have some way to do extra damage. Such as uh, Kill Command... Um, I don't know, even an explosive trap would do the trick. There's a lot he could do right now that could finish me, and I need that got. There it is. <laughs> oh, I did my best, guys. I did my best. I did my best. If you think you could have made a play there that would have won you the game that I didn't make, please let me know so that I can learn from that, the little mistakes that I make. Such as, uh, make sure to do, like, timestamps as well. Like, at this moment, you could have played this, and then this would have happened. But bear in mind, hindsight is a wonderful thing. And, uh, yeah, I would have... I have no idea what I'm about to draw. And in your comment, you might be just assuming that I'm going to draw the specific card that I did draw. And there's no way you could know that. So try and keep that in mind. Okay, we're against our first rogue of uh, the arena run. We have a turn one, we have a turn three... Uh, the 4 isn't really all that good. Cultmaster, 
I guess it's okay. So our turn one, Hungry Crab. We have uh, uh, Cult Master for card draw. We have Abomination for fucking up and miscalculating, like I seem to always do when it comes to the Abomination. And Shield Block turn three for card draw. So we armor up, we do one damage here. Apparently he didn't have any good turn. I must say, going second on a rogue is like heaven, and going first on a rogue is hell, because the coin gives you an extra mana, obviously, and it activates your combo, so you can do awesome stuff with it. This guy didn't seem to do any awesome stuff with it, so I'm lucky in that aspect. I'm going to slam it so I can get a card draw and then just kill it with a murloc. The, the murloc hunter, hungry crab. Yeah, so I, I ended up with uh, five cards there to his six cards. So we're currently equal card-wise, because he's just drawn one. And he had no turn free. What is this? A late-game rogue? Those don't exist. I could shield wall up and get a card. Or I could put down a free free and hit him. I'm going to do that because I have a weapon. Got to get these weapons in use. I have three weapons here to make use of. The Weaponsmith, the Aconite Reaper, and the Fiery War Axe, so... Gotta make use of them. Choices, 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 choices. Choices, choices, choices. I have 5 damage here. I lose the weapon. I take 3 damage. I lose that. And I kill that. That leaves me with 5 mana to play with. Five mana to give myself extra armor. Draw another card. Maybe use that card or armor up. And have a lot of armor. Or I could just use an Arcanite Reaper now and kill that. And then remain uh, free free and have a 5-1. That sounds better to me. I know I'm going to lose one of the charges of the Battle Axe, but I can live with it. Knowing what's in front of me and having control now felt stronger there to me. Obviously with the, the many weapons I have, I need to make use of them. So he manages to kill that by trading his uh, power ability, the weapon, Wicked Knife. And puts down a meh card that I can just clean up right now if I desire. And I'm, I, do, I do desire. I do desire. So we put down a knife juggler and we combo it with the dragon ling mechanic. One knife! Two knife! Get through some damage. Ball control. So far, so good. If things go wrong, I can clear his board with an abomination. The A-bomb. He just puts out a big guy. I could do with an execute right now. Not an execute. Not an execute. Three... It's five... Seven damage kill that. I would draw three cards. What I could now? potentially buff that up to have three damage, five damage. And I play these two. If I play these two, I could uh, potentially save some cards and draw some cards. But that's a chancy thing. I could just fiery war axe, take the damage, put it down to four, four health, and then... Uh, Finish the job with these two. Yeah, that works. We get some card draw. Cool, we have Gorhal. So currently we're on an equal playing field, health-wise. But I have 7 damage on board. 10 damage with the weapon, and then a Gorhal. I could just go for his throat right now, and then Gorhal next turn and win. And I'm very, very, I very, I very, I'm apparently Jewish now, apparently, or something. Um, no, I very, damn it, I can't, I, can't keep say, I can't keep saying that. I may, there we go, very well do that. I was trying to say may and very at the same time, over and over. You know, talking is hard, guys. So, 
four, seven, ten. Plus that, what eleven. Now? Oh, hang on. Seven plus seven. Ah, oh, we're one damage. No, we're not. No, we we are. Damn. Gah. <laughs> if we had um, if we had two extra mana, we could kill him right now with the shattered sun and the gorhal. But we do not have two extra mana, so. If we put down an A-bomb, we get a shield against this stuff, and we put him down to 5 health. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Oh my god. And execute, okay. So we put down a shield here that he has to get through, does 2 damage to him, whatever. And we just we're pretty much gonna go howl him here. That's the that's the that's the idea. We're going to execute him with a gigantic axe. He kills my minions there. Probably feels happy with that. Unless he puts down a taunt though, he loses the game. Surely he knows that. There it is. I hope you like my invention. It's fine though. Ooh. What can we do exactly? Well, we take six damage. That becomes zero. Leaving us with two mana. Execute that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh god. Alright, well, he has 2 health. I have an 8 8 in play. And a 6 1 in, in nuke value, I guess. So the chances of him killing us here, quite low. He'd need a Blood, blood Mage Thalnos and 2 Eviscerates to kill me right now. The chances are very low. He needs another taunt. And even then, I can get through it with either. An assassinate wouldn't do the job. Five, six damage there. That scared me. Please no eviscerate. No! No! Oh my god! What? What? No! Oh, I could have prevented that by putting on some armor or something, sure, but I had no idea that he would have that. I had no idea that he would have that. Ah, that's so unlucky. He had the exact damage he needed. If I'd armored up, in hindsight, you know, I could have prevented that death by doing a slightly safer play and everything, but I had no idea that he would have exactly 10 damage there. Ah, the Arcane Golem. Unexpected. Unexpected. So ends our uh, first arena run since coming back to the game. And at the very least, we did win most of our games played out of the seven that we played. Four wins. Four wins, three losses. One of my... Uh, well, an arena run that I am not happy with, obviously. But I... As you can see by my gold, I do usually do well in arenas, at least I used to, so I'm looking forward to getting better at it. Um, you, you know, go ahead, tell me your card, like, uh, suggestions, what's good, what's bad, compared to uh, how I used to be. Yeah, seriously, this Martin says I'm rusty. Yeah, I am rusty, I've not played in months. It's gonna be bad. But yeah, I learned a lot, and that was fun. And for our troubles, we get, uh, ooh, a golden... Void Terror and a Gadgetson Auctioneer and some other crap. So we got a gold card at least. How much dust do we have here? 15. Whoa, we're in the money. Whoa, gotta love that new animation, seriously though. And the golden, very beautiful Void Terror. If you put this in your deck, you will lose the trust of your other minions. <laughs> and I can get 100 dust for that. We've nearly got enough dust for another uh, legendary. Sweet. Oh, his eyes open and closed. Do you see that? Oh, that's gross. It's like drooling. All right, guys. That has been the arena run of uh, noobness, I guess. 
me coming back to Hearthstone and doing my first arena run since coming back to Hearthstone. And it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this. What the... Who the... F what? Wait, you see that message at the bottom left? This person added me. That person added me. And they, they're asking me that. So, I mean, that's... All right, that's fine. All right, just... Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. Fucking hell, it's been a weird ending. Uh, if you've enjoyed the series or this video, please leave a like. Again, feedback is wonderful. Just try and keep it civil. Don't be a dick with your criticisms. Try and just give me advice that you think's valid and uh, the like. So, see you next time, guys. Have a great day and uh, look forward to the next arena run where hopefully I have improved.